Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you're new and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, so for today's video, I tried to film this twice yesterday. So today is my third time trying to film it. And yeah, we was having some technical difficulties yesterday. There was static on the mic. My camera stopped recording. And then whenever I did try to record for the second time, my boys came in here and pressed stop record and I didn't know, so it stopped recording again. And then I had some other difficulties with my Jesus chats and another video I had filmed where the boys came in here and touched the lens to the camera. And so it was super, super smudgy and super blurry. <sighs> but I had to get that Jesus chats up and my mood was already ruined. So that smudgy blurry video went up, but we are here to refilm my Q and A get ready with me. And this time I incorporated a shop my stash. So, so this is a shop my stash Q and A get ready with me. Is that too much? Is it too much for you guys? Like would y'all prefer one or the other? Let me know. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and go get into picking out some makeup. All right, you guys, so we are going to go ahead and pick out uh, makeup. So starting out in here, um, just wanting to try out more products so that way I can know what I need to declutter whenever that time comes. But let's go ahead and use the Catrice Prime and Fine for that. Um, let's use this for primer water and for foundation. Is this good for you know what let's go ahead and just give this another shot and we will try it with this obviously and i don't know let's try it with that favorite primers okay and then for all of the face products um, i don't think no i have used that Cut and use that. Let's use this color pop blush, and let's use the Fit Me powder. Um, I haven't used this in a while, so let's use that for highlighter. Well, I want to. You know what? I have not used this blush in a good little minute, so let's use that. And then I haven't used this in a while either, so let's use that. And I need a bronzer. What do we want to do for bronzer? Um, I haven't used my Silky Matte bronzer in a while. Okay, so since I already tried to film this video yesterday, I actually used this palette, so I can't act like I haven't used it in a while. But, you know what, I'm wearing a gray shirt, so I honestly have not played with this palette in a good little minute, so let's just play with this. And we will use this eyeshadow primer. Fun part. So lashes. I'm going to be cluttering my lashes as I pick lashes out for the day. Um, I haven't worn those since I bought them. I haven't worn those since I bought them. These ones are actually in my car on my dash. And oh, these are the ones I got for my sister, and I've only worn these ones. Let's try those today. Again. Should we do a liner, you guys? Look, I have a. Let's try this eyeliner. I haven't played with that. Um, need tweezers. This. Four mascaras. There's so many in here that I actually just need to get rid of because they're so old, but let's use this one. And for brows, uh, let's use Wonder Beauty and that NYX pen with this. And then 
for lips, let's go ahead and try, wow, how did this get so out of control? We'll try that one. Let's switch lip liner. Uh, I'm gonna grab two. I'm gonna grab Keep It Spicy and Dark Brown. Ooh. Should I grab blushing? I don't know. We're gonna grab blushing and dark brown. And then I think that's it, you guys. That's my little giveaway drawer. But anyways, yep, that's all the makeup we picked out. So let's go ahead and sit down and get this on our face. Okay, so you guys saw, oh, also, who remembers when putting humps right here? I mean, obviously not this sloppy, but like the smooth humps in your hair were a thing. Are those still a thing? Are people still doing it? But who remembers when that was a thing? So anyways, we are gonna go ahead and go in with brows and I know you guys saw what I picked out for brows. Oh, also in yesterday's video, I tried a new lighting setting and I was like, oh, this is gonna look bomb and it looked terrible, terrible. Oh, and there was static on the mic because I tried a new mic. So note to self, don't just be up and trying new stuff. Sorry, I gotta fix my pillow and my heating pad because this chair, be killing my back and I mean makes it hard to walk after I'm done filming and editing killing my back so yeah we are just gonna go ahead and start with our brows we're gonna start answering some questions and let's just get into it so the this little curl right here so the first question actually was how did my husband and I meet and I actually have a whole video on that and everything, but um, we met online on an app called POF. Like, let me know if you've ever heard of that app, if you know about that app, but that is how we met. And it was so funny because whenever Brian first messaged me, he was like, like it was the longest, sweetest, respectful message I have I had ever received on that app because that app was kind of low-key like a more toned down tinder and so i was like ugh so i was like ugh like he probably just wants the same thing that everybody else has tried to message me on here about and um y'all y'all know what i just noticed i did not pick out a concealer okay so i actually chose the color pop concealer because i have not used that this i haven't used this that much and i have mine in the shade light 40 in which is a tiny bit too light, but I can always make it work. So anyways, like I was saying, it was kind of weird because I was like, um, you know, I came from a past, like I said, I was expecting him, like, it was so nice that I thought it was kind of like a joke and like, not, not a joke, but a way to slide in the DMs and like try to just get that one thing that everybody else wanted. And so I left him on red for a day. I left him on red for a day and then I was like, you know, like just something in my spirit was like, message him back, message him back. And so I messaged him back, like only responding to what he wrote in the message. And then he actually carried on a decent conversation. Like we never talked about sex or anything like that. And so, so yeah, that is how we met. And I was gonna leave him on red. And to think, had I just left him on red like I wanted to, I would not be married right now. That is so funny. That's why you gotta listen to Holy Spirit. So yeah, my sister Faith was being childish and commented on that picture and said, who's your favorite youngest sister? Because if you know, it's the two sisters that I always have on my channel, Faith and Destiny. And I'm not saying this just because I don't wanna hurt anybody's feelings because quite frankly, Destiny don't even really keep up with my YouTube videos. So I'm just gonna be honest. So I don't have a one favorite over the other, but they're my favorites for different reasons, if that makes sense. So Destiny and I relate on a whole different level because we were raised in the same house with our mom. And so like, that's why she's my favorite on that level because we have inside jokes for that. And then Faith is my favorite because we were like, like we had like the same relationship issues and like a lot of the same goals and like just a kind of a, more of a, the same personality. Like me and Destiny are so opposite that that's why we click. And then like me and Faith are so much of the same that that's why we click. And so I truly don't have a favorite one, but when Faith was here, I did spend more time with her than I did with Destiny. Cause 
I don't know, like that's just how it was. <laughs> like, I don't know, me and Faith do spend a lot more time together whenever we get the opportunity. And me and Destiny like to go to the Dollar Tree together all the time and like that's like our thing. And then mine and Faith's thing is like eating food and watching YouTube together. <laughs> But anyways, all that to say is that I don't actually favor one over the other. They're both my favorites for different reasons. So you really can't even compare them because the reasons they're my favorites are completely different from each other. <laughs> Faith is so funny. She said, do you love me? Yes, Faith, I love you. Even though you took the time out your life to abandon me, I love you. So, so much. So I'm just realizing that I bought this NYX pen in black and it's more like a dark brown. NYX needs to get it together because their dark brown or espresso brow pencil is like a red brown. Low key, I'm kind of feeling this hump. <laughs> Loser. Ew, drooler. And then Faith said, not a question. I miss you and I love you. I miss you and I love you too because it'd be lonely. It'd be cold in them heels. You know, I didn't even prime my face. I'm glad I realized before I started cleaning up my brows. Look at me, I can't ever do my makeup without getting dirty. So I learned my lesson yesterday to, to clear out the memory before I sit down and film, because that's why I stopped recording the first time yesterday and then not let my kids in the room because they pressed stop recording. Have kids, they said. It will be fun, they said. Okay, so the next question said, what's your biggest dream? <sighs> like really, really no limits. And honestly guys, my biggest dream is actually kind of what I'm doing now. And I don't mean doing makeup on YouTube, but reaching women and showing them the love of Christ and showing them that no matter what your background is, God will love you. But I really, like my biggest dream is that my testimony touch millions of women and that my testimony because of God be the reason why millions of women find God and start to follow him and that's just why I teach the way that I do on my channel because I never want to be that Christian that tries to shove the Bible down your throat in such a hateful way because that's not how God called us to share the word of God now with Christ did Christ flip tables? Yes, he did. Like, did Christ show out? Yes, he did. But you gotta understand within its essence and within the context of that scripture, why was Christ so mad? And like, why was he flipping tables? Because it wasn't just like, oh, Christ was mad, flip tables. No, like you gotta read that whole story to understand it. But any other time, for instance, the woman at the well, you know, she was a Samaritan woman and basically a whore and you know like Christ approached her with so much respect to the point to where the woman at the well was even like you know like why are you talking to me and you know like he corrected her and like he loved on her and it made and it led her to him and into believing in him and then for instance the woman that was about to get stoned for adultery he saved her from being stoned and he wasn't and he didn't tell her like oh you're such a whore but you know like you need to turn from that no all he told that woman that was about to get stoned was like 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 you know what like go and sin no more and he saved her like i don't know if y'all want me to go deep into these stories like let me know i'm just kind of paraphrasing for the sake of this video and then it's kind of like even with the woman of the with the issue of blood because it was a law that she should not have been within the city limits but jesus wasn't like aunt get away from me you're breaking the law no he healed her and like so and he didn't turn her away so it's just like When I feel like whenever it came to women, God was a lot more gentle and it's because women are emotional beings, you know? And so, yeah, I don't know. That's just how I see it and what I've noticed in the word. So that's my goal is to be like Christ within bringing women to God. And I mean, I'm not a man, so that ain't my place to bring men to God, but I've never seen my husband be, I've never seen Brian try to bring try to bring people to God or teach in a hateful way. Like I've never seen Brian be hateful. Um, even with the situation that he goes through at work, you know, 
he always makes sure that people understand like, hey, you know, like just because I believe what I believe, like that doesn't mean that I hate you. Like that doesn't mean that we can't be cordial. Like that doesn't mean that, you know, like I don't respect you. You know, like we make it a very big point in our own personal walks to let others know like, if that's the lifestyle you choose, like then you choose to live it. But you know, like I will correct your sin. It's just up to you if you want it to be corrected or not. But I'm only gonna tell you once and I'm not gonna beat you over the head with it. And that's just why I feel like God will show favor in my dream of bringing a lot of women to Christ. So I'm just going to take this base shade out of this palette and just start setting down my, um, what is that? What is that called? My primer. So I'm gonna take the shade Incense and start blending that into the crease. As I answer this question, and it is, what is your favorite birthday memory? <sighs> it's my third time saying this, but my <laughs> not that y'all know, but I guess it's just irritating. But my favorite birthday memory is actually um, three years ago, Brian surprised me with a surprise birthday little gathering. And it wasn't big, it was literally just like our two best friends, which are married couples. And then at the time, somebody else that I was close to and our spiritual mentors. So yeah, it was so sweet. Cause I didn't even know, like he blindfolded me and like drove me there and everything. And it was just so sweet. And we had Wingstop, which was my favorite food at the time. Cause I think I was pregnant with King three years ago. Was I? No, I think I had just had Bryson three years ago. Bryson's three. So he was probably like, Bryson was probably only like eight months. <gasps> Ooh. It's probably the night I got pregnant with. With <laughs> King. Ooh. Wow. So anyways, that's probably the night I got pregnant with King because Bryson was eight months and I got pregnant with King when Bryson was eight months old. I'm gonna take this purple. Okay, what age do you feel on the inside? And I know she's asking these questions because my birthday was on Tuesday, which was the 16th of February. And honestly, I feel, I still feel like I'm in my early 20s. Now my bones feel like they're like about to die, but my, the way I feel health, like it's so weird cause like health wise and like the energy that I have and like, just like my vibe and my personality, like I still feel like I'm in my early 20s. I'm 28 by the way, just turned 28. I keep thinking I turned 29. I'm just so ready to be 30. Like, I don't know. I guess because the Bible says like old age is a, is a blessing. So I'm like excited to get old. Yeah, that's how old I feel. I feel like I'm in my early 20s. <laughs> my back is like 96 and my knees are like 75 and my shoulders like 80, but yeah. If you could relive, relive one day of your life, what day would it be? And okay, first of all, I have to say this as a disclaimer, because people are judgy. When Brian and I started dating and we made it official, we knew because we talked with each other, we were not dating just to see where it goes. We were dating with the intention of getting married within that same year. So getting married was for Brian and I, was always a plan from the get go. But he was out in jail because that's where he was for the oil field. I don't wanna say stationed because it makes it sound like the military, but in a sense, like he is stationed for the oil field in a certain area. But anyway, he was in jail, New Mexico. That brush isn't doing what I need it to. He was in jail, New Mexico out working in the oil field. And I drove out there and it was the first weekend that him and I spent together with Ethan. He had met Ethan the first time we ever hung out, but we had never like gone out and like been together as a little family. And so that was one reason why it was special. It was the first day we had our first kiss ever. And then like he stayed the night with me at the hotel room and Ethan was there in the same hotel room in the same bed. So we weren't being nasty weren't doing anything nasty. We were just kind of like cuddling up and like just caressing one another's bodies. We weren't touching each other's private parts. He didn't even touch my butt, not a boob, nothing. And like, we we're just like admiring one another and just loving on one another. And still to this day, I tell Brian, like, can we just lay in the bed like that one time and just like love on one another? <laughs> like I ask him all the time. And so yeah, I would definitely relive that day over. 
What is your favorite TikTok video? I'm gonna put one up right now of a couple. They're jamming and I don't like your hair today. <laughs> what? I don't you, like your you hair. You don't like my hair? <laughs> my hair don't like you. I don't like that on top of your head that you got going on. Goddamn shark fade. Where'd you find that in the 1990s? <laughs> that bitch looks like an eraser. <laughs> Motherfucking MTM. <laughs> Goddamn hell, man. You have the audacity to say something about my shit. Cause it's not, cause I love, I just love their TikToks, but she had me cracking up on this one cause she was roasting him just like I'd be roasting Brian. So yeah, but it's actually like uh, Marco and Brooke Hall. They have two separate TikTok accounts. Like they don't share one like most couples. Um, the Scots, I still like the Scots. And for a while they were my favorite TikTok couple, but this new one is my favorite because not that they're new, but the new to me is my favorite because like they just remind me so much of brian and i because brian and i really do just sit up and like straight up roast each other <laughs> so yeah that's why i like them okay so i got this question tw twice and it says well one person asked what is well both y'all asked what is my favorite makeup brand and then one of you asked why so my favorite makeup brand right now has to be milani because everything that i've bought from them ever i have never had an issue with and i've like i've always liked every single product i've bought i haven't came across the product yet that i haven't liked from milani and their drugstore so yeah so i'm gonna go in with the celestial shade on my finger and then i'm gonna take um dreamer over top just to lighten it up a little bit okay and then you asked when did you get into makeup and then what sparked your love for makeup so i got in i've got super into makeup my freshman year like watching youtube and stuff my freshman year of high school which was 2007 and um yeah so i've been watching youtube for a long time but it didn't get big until like around like 2010 2011 but i've been watching it since 2007 so um what sparked my love for makeup is i just always wanted to feel better about myself and I wanted to feel because I grew up being really, really bullied in middle school and high school, mostly in middle school. I tell you guys all the time, like I've never been a small girl, like I've never been skinny and people let me know. So yeah, I remember in middle school, there were, this, there were these two guys and they were brother and they, the brothers, they were in the same grade. And um, they used to call me Billy Goat and they said that I was a billy goat because I was fat, which meant that I ate everything like a billy goat does. And then it just continued on through high school. There was just one black girl in middle school who went around telling, cause y'all know I'm mixed and I've always told people I was mixed because it's not a lie. Like I am, I'm black and Hispanic. Well, I straightened my hair one time in middle school and this black girl went around telling everybody that I had fake hair, that my hair was fake and that I was really bald and that I was ugly and that's why I had to have fake hair and I was super bullied. Like bullied to the point where people just wanted to fight me for like no reason. Like no reason at all, just wanted to fight me. And then finally, my senior year, I fought one of my bullies and I beat her up and that's what she gets for bullying me. I don't condone fighting. But if you choose to stand up for yourself and that's what it leads to, throw them hands. Probably shouldn't be saying that, but for real. Like, I'm just saying, if that's what it leads to, throw them hands. Like, stand up for yourself because people will only treat you how you allow them to treat you. And once I stood up for myself, I beat up two of my bullies, actually. But once you start standing up towards your bullies and people who just don't like you and spread rumors about you and all kinds of stuff, like, people see you don't play. I'm not saying go out and fight, like that's not what I'm saying, but that's what it was, is I finally started standing up for myself and I mean, it led to fighting and did what I had to do. But I don't condone fighting. I just condone standing up for yourself. What happens after that is up to you. But yeah, wanting to feel better about myself and stop getting bullied is why I fell in love with makeup. Let me put on mascara and my lashes and then we'll continue with these with the questions because I feel like all I've been doing is talking this entire time. 
Okay, so someone asked, what is my favorite Bible verse? Um, I'm gonna share a different one because I always tell you guys that Isaiah 40, 31 is actually my favorite verse and it's because he just reminds you like, he'll never let, like, let you get to a point to where you can't handle life because he will uplift you and he will hold you. Wait, but hold on, let me pop on these lashes because I forgot that I said I was gonna finish doing my eyes before I answered any more questions. Going in and trying this again because so many people talk about how amazing this is and I'm just like, but why? Because like the coverage is good, but I can't get past the sunscreen smell. So <clears throat> sharing a new memory verse with you guys. Or memory verse, sharing my another verse that's my favorite with you guys. And that is Philippians chapter four, verses um, um, six through eight. And I wanna read it word for word. Okay, so that is, so that is be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Because finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good, of a, are of good report. If there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So I just love how it's telling you, like, first of all, don't worry. Just talk to God about what's going on and leave it there. And then focus on what you can thank God for. Like, focus on all the good and what's already in your life that you can give him thanks for. So I just, it's another one of my favorite scriptures. I just feel like, so yeah, that is my other favorite Bible scripture. I was asked, what is your favorite thing to do to pass time? And honestly, if I'm feeling really, really bored and like watching YouTube videos just isn't in it for me, like, like, like it just ain't doing it for me. I really like to, um, I'll start organizing something in my house and cleaning it and that helps me pass time a lot, but yeah. So I really don't feel like playing with makeup or watching YouTube. I will start decluttering and organizing some area in my house that's been bothering me for a while. And that's how y'all ended up with that refrigerator cleaning video because I was bored. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where and why? Probably an island. And I'm not picky, well, a safe island that's meant for tourists. I always look at Bora Bora, it's so beautiful, but it's also super expensive. But I just feel like it would be so serene, like, and then like you go out there, well, Bora Bora, and the why is like, I feel like it would just be so serene to just like be out there in your little villa hut, like, basically in the ocean and just you just get to see like up close firsthand like god's creation like i've seen the mountains you know and that's cute and all but i just love like i don't think anything beats the ocean and like islands like that like i'm just like how how that or ireland because i see freaking pictures of Ireland and I'm like it's just so green and he like like hilly like so many hills and it's just so pretty and moist and I'm just like being from West Texas I love anywhere that gets more moisture than we do <laughs> so yeah like Bora Bora or Ireland I would I would love to visit those two places oops I forgot I picked out all these cream products to use so too late to use them now like literally I picked out blush, bronzer, and highlights. <laughs> oh my gosh. Next question. Should we finish up my eyes? All right, y'all, got a lot going on right now. I'll be back once I have my life together. Okay, taking this LA Girl eyeliner in the shade Lavender. I got a clumpy lash right here and I cannot get it out. So I'm gonna take this. Oh, oh this bully right here and try to get it out. All right, so while that gets ready for me to push it down, I'm gonna go in with our bronzer. The longer this eyeshadow sits, the prettier it gets. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's like reacting to my body chemistry. I don't know, but I feel like the longer it sits, the prettier it gets. Okay, and then next, go 
going in with our blush. Seriously though, are people still doing this hump? Because it's real cute. Oh, let me answer these last couple questions because this part of my makeup's going by real quick. Okay. Oh, it's the last question. Oh no, I have one more. So this one says, um, what's your favorite show of like all time? And it would have to be between Grey's Anatomy and Vampire Diaries because those are two shows that I could start from beginning and watch all the way through and over and over. But I actually love the entire Vampire Diaries series. So the Vampire Diaries to the spinoff of the originals, to the spinoff of, to the spinoff of the, I love Vampire Diaries, the spinoff to the originals, and then I love the spinoff to, of the originals to um, Legends, I believe it's called. I love all of them. All of them are so good. And I'm actually waiting for Legends to release their new season so that I can watch it. But they said tripping. So, yeah, that blush is so cute. All right, and then, the last one, I'm gonna let y'all guess who asked this question. She said, how do how to bag a light skin with a beard who submits his heart to Christ? So first of all, you don't bag him, he bags you. Second of all, fall in love with God first. Fall in love with being single and loving yourself the way God loves yourself and seeing yourself the way God sees you so that way whenever this man does approach you, you know how to accept his love the way you are supposed to and be submissive the way you are supposed to. But become who you would want to marry. Become who you would want to marry and then watch God do the rest. And that's all I can say. Because us as women, we don't know what's best for us sometimes. We just don't. Especially whenever it comes to a light skin with a beard. Sometimes we don't know what's best for us. So just allow God to bring that person into your life. And don't be so quick to reject because they may... This goes for anybody. It doesn't just necessarily go to light skins with a beard. But don't be so quick to just reject what God may place in front of you because it seems like they're not their, your type or there's just some kind of vibe. Like I said, whenever Brian first messaged me, I was like, oh no, he on some weird stuff. But then I messaged him back and now I'm married. So you just never know. And it'll always come like the way in the way that we least expect it. So yeah, remember the Bible does say, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Not, hold on. You know, I started watching Bailey Syrian and she does like, murder mystery and makeup mondays and she is so good at talking while doing her lips i am gonna add still just a little bit of dark brown because i already know that this lip liner is not enough for this lip liquid lipstick so i am just gonna deepen up the edges a little bit that's cute and honestly you guys like so i can't ever do my hair with my hair do my makeup with my hair pulled back and i want to leave it pulled back Lastly is brow gel. Now that I've done my brows so many times, this is actually turning like a gray brown color. Take the bangs down and see what it looks like with the bangs down because your girl was really starting to feel that little hump. I don't know how they're feeling. Oh, this is cute. We're all cute too. Okay. Okay. This is cute too, I guess. She's just cute to say. All right, you guys, so I hope that you guys in, okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is a final look. You guys getting ready with me, helping me pick out some makeup. Let me know, like, was this too much? Like, was it, was it, was it, was a shop my stash plus a QA and a a little bit too much? Like, would you have rather that I just focused more on the makeup from the shop my stash? Or did you kind of like a combination of both? Like, just let me know down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, getting to know a little bit more about me and the way that I think. And yeah, um, if you wanna be a part of my Q and A's, go ahead and follow me on Instagram because that is where I post my little sticker for you guys to answer questions. Um, I wish it was easier to post like a sticker on Snapchat, but it's really not. Like you have to download a whole nother app just to do that. And ain't nobody got time or storage for that on their phone. So yeah, I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.